battery of EMF 2 volts and internal resistance 0 0.5 ohms is connected, is connected across a 9.5 ohm resistor. Calculate the current and the terminal potential difference. So we're going to use our equation uh, for internal and external resistance. The EMF is 2 volts. That's going to equal I, well, the external resistance is 9.5 plus I, and the internal resistance is 0 0.5. So 2 equals I times by 10. Therefore, 2 divided by 10 is equal to I, which is 0 0.2 amps. Now, this part of the equation here, that is the terminal PD. So PD is equal to I big R, which is going to be 0 0.2 times by 9.5, which equals 1.9 volts. So there we go. The current was 0 0.2, and the terminal PD is 1.9 volts. A battery of EMF 4.5 volts is connected across a 12 ohm resistor. If the PD across the resistor is 3 volts, calculate the current in the circuit and the internal resistance of the battery. So again, we're going to use our formula. Okay, now what do we know? Well, we know the EMF is 4.5. We're also told that IR uh, is equal to 3 volts. And we also know that big R is 12. So we can actually work out the current using this part. So I times by 12 equals 3. Therefore the current is equal to 3 over 12, which is equal to 0 0.25 amps. Now lastly we need to find out the internal resistance. So we're going to find the volt. What's the internal voltage being taken up? So the voltage across uh, the internal resistor is 1.5 volts. So 1.5 divided by the current, which is 0 0.25 going to equal to R. So that's the same as doing 1.5 times by 4, which gives us 6 ohms. A cell is connected in series with an 8 ohm resistor and a switch. A high resistance voltmeter is connected across the terminals and it reads 3.6 when the voltage when the switch is open and 3.2 when the switch is closed. Calculate the EMF uh, and the, of the cell and its internal resistance. Now we know when the switch is open, the terminals uh, actually become the EMF. So we know that that's 6 sorry, 3.6 volts. Uh, we also know IR is therefore equal to 3.2 volts when the current's flowing. So we need to find out, well, what's the current? Uh, we know the external resistance, so I is 8. Sorry, R is 8. So let's substitute that in. So the current is going to equal 3.2 divided by 8, which gives us an answer of 0 0.4 amps. And then finally, well, 3.6 minus 3.2 is 0 0.4 volts. That's the voltage across the internal resistor. And now we know what the current is. Well, 0 0.4 R equals 0 0.4. Therefore, R equals 0 0.4 over 0 0.4, which equals to 1 ohm. That is our final answer, the internal resistance. A cell is connected in a circuit with a variable resistance while at the same time a high resistance voltmeter is connected across the terminals of the cell. 
The voltmeter reads 1.3 volts when the variable resistance is fixed at 3, 13 ohms and again at 1.2 volts when the variable resistance is fixed at 8. Calculate the EMF and the internal resistance of the cell. So let's apply our equation. So we don't know what the EMF is, but we know uh, a current. Uh, when, we've got, when we've got the external resistors as being 13, we know that the voltage across here is equal to uh, 1.3. And then again, 1.2 is equal to the current, uh, we're going to call it current 2, uh, when our uh, voltage is 8. So what's our current in the first scenario? Well, 1.3 divided by 13 is 0 0.1 amps. And then we've got 1.2 divided by 8 is going to be... I2, the current in our second scenario, which equals 0 0.15. So now we can say that the EMF is equal to uh, 0 0.1 times 13 plus 0 0.1 times R, which is also equal to 0 0.15 uh, times by 8 plus 0 0.15 times by R. So we've now got an equation. So we can say 0 0.1 times by 13 plus 0 0.1 R is equal to 0 0.15 times by 8 plus 0 0.15 R. So let's tidy this up a bit. Okay, so I've just multiplied uh, this here just to make the our equations a little bit neater okay I'm just going to carry on okay I've just uh, moved over this has gone over to this side so I've got now I've got minus uh, 1.2 I've just moved this over to this side I've got minus 0 0.1 R so simplifying, 1.3 minus 1.2 is 0 0.1 and then 0 0.15R minus 0 0.1R becomes 0 0.05R So lastly, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.05 is going to be our internal resistance Hopefully we've made it and we get an internal resistance of 2 ohms All that maths and we just got 2